Okay, Simone, tell me how exactly you became the Black Fairy Godmother. There was a woman in Maryland. Um, she was at the courthouse in Baltimore, Maryland, and they were going to evict her and her child who had a heart condition. And people were tagging me in the post, and I was in school at the time, and they said she needed $1,000 less than four, uh, four hours. And I went ahead, I raised $1,000 on my page, and her name was Teresa. She gave me the name, the Black Fairy Godmother. She's like, you're like a fairy that just saved me and my daughter. And ever since then, the name stuck. Simone, you have changed so many lives. So I gotta know what stories stick out the most to you? The one that stuck out to me the most was the family who was domestic violence um, victims. Um, the mom kept going to shelters and the shelters only let her stay for three weeks at a time. And she kept going back to her ex-husband and eventually started living in her car with her five children. She went ahead and came to us and said, you guys are my last resort. Can you please help me? So I said, okay. I went to my Instagram. I said, guys, we have a family of five who's in Oklahoma. It's cold. It's Christmas time. They need a meal. They need bed. Let's try to get them an Airbnb because we need to get them to safety. We raised $2,500, went ahead and got them into an Airbnb. We made sure they had Christmas. They made, you know, we made sure they had hot cocoa. And within a month, we went ahead and we got them, um, you know, a place to stay, furniture from Target, and we put it on Instagram. And she's like, you are the Black Fairy Godmother. I waited five years to get out of this situation and you made it happen, so. And with the coronavirus <laughs> pandemic, I think the world needs you now more than ever before. Can you tell me how much money you raised already? Previously, approximately two weeks ago, we raised 81,000. Now we're at $150,000 where we spread out um, to families who are in need. And we're still going currently on Instagram. We have a lot of people who had small businesses, a lot of teachers, um, even the, some of the essential workers who are still waiting for unemployment, who don't have food. So we're still going strong. Um, I'm used to doing 31 messages per day. I'm getting 100 messages per day that we have to vet to make sure that they are scam free because we go through the messages. Um, we video chat some of these families and a lot of them are devastated. And I have to ask you, what's the most rewarding thing about all that you're doing? The most rewarding thing is making sure people are fed, making sure people are safe, and having their testimonies when they're smiling. That's what we do, and I'm gonna always be the Black Fairy Godmother. Simone Gordon, you're so much more than a Black Fairy Godmother. You're a hero in my eyes and so many others. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me, guys.